G'day folks, so I've had a few requests for tutorials on how I did the uh, machine, the sand making machine. So this is what I'm here to show you. In fact, this is an improved version. It uses all 12 blocks. The original version didn't include the last two or the first one. Um, the reason is if you put anything on, let's use something that's easier to break than stone. If you put anything on like any redstone on that square, it interferes with the pusher piston, so you have to build with torches beneath to drive this. Any redstone device on that corner block breaks a pusher piston. Now, what we've got is a glass structure so you can see through it. It's 12 blocks of timber under here. Um, Water runs downhill, of course, because you know water only goes eight blocks, and we need a twelve. Pistons glued to glass, they're sticky pistons. So they get pulled back to let the sand fall through. Um, this is a delay circuit. That's just there to make sure I had enough signal to get to the other end of twelve blocks. This one's here because I ran out of signal. Hang on, let's see if I still need it. I don't need it anymore. Awesome. Um, these are a cheap way to power torches side by side or anything side by side. So, because they can do what you could. If you put in just simple, whoops, if you put in simple redstone here, these torches wouldn't get powered. Um, now again, like I said, we've run the torches from below this time so that we don't have anything in that corner block. So just more torches, redstone torches. Uh, torches on the wood blocks here, they break the sand as it falls down. This here is a pulse circuit. Now this works by taking a knot, meaning this is always normally lit, and delaying any change that happens in this circuit. So when it goes on, when when this one goes on, this goes off, this waits a couple of sec a couple of fractions of a second before it goes off, which means there is a brief moment in time when both this and this line are on. This is configured as an AND, meaning that both sides need to be on for it to work. This here is a very, very, very long pulse circuit. So we activate that. It takes ages to get from one end to the other. So as you see, brief moment, and both of these are on. Oh, maybe it's working as a knot. No? It's one of those logic gates. Ah, that's what it is, it's a gnaw. When both of these are off, this one comes on. And they're both off for only the shortest amount of time. You can wait for it. There, see? So this inverts the signal because with all the torches here, it meant that the push pistons were always out, always turned on. We send the signal down here where it's delayed further. To these pistons. Now, this is all delayed off. Right? The circuit's on all the time, and the delays are the off that's being delayed, not the on that's being delayed. So you can see there's a significant amount of time between those ones pushing out and those ones pulling back. This lets your blocks fall to the water but doesn't let the sand fall to water, which kills it, as we've seen. So now that we've got that working, we go up here and we get the glitcher working now. Non-sticky pistons, sticky pistons with glass, a sticky piston and a non-sticky piston. Uh, you drive this on a delay. You drive this one directly. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky. You have to do this every single time your circuit stops for whatever reason. Uh, you've set the time, you've left the server. You 
you've left the the um what's it called ah region whatever so the trick here is to break the redstone and put it back down as quickly as you can which I keep failing at in fact this is like the fourth time I've recorded this video tonight so my original intention was to show you the um, construction process but I kept screwing it up and it just took too long I ran out of disk space so next best thing I show you everything about how it works it's made of glass you can see all the inner workings there we go so that's the glitch piston and the pusher piston and all you need is some sand this takes practice too there you go Go down here and tweak the delays. These delays aren't so important. Um, only this one is. Those delays tell the game how long to wait between each of the top piston pushes. Ouch. The only danger is if it's too short, then your sand won't make it all the way along. But as you can see, that's just about perfect. Now you're thinking, this is an awful lot of hard work to make sand. You're right, and I'll show you why. I mean, I'm not entirely certain that that is any more efficient than this one that I just built for Shits and Giggles. The most compact version I've managed so far. Oh, that torch is in the wrong spot. Do -do -do. We'll get this one going. Put some sand in front of it. This does the job. I mean, it spits out heaps and heaps and heaps of blocks and you just sit here and take them oh. oh well don't want that piece anyway that's not as spectacular as this one is I mean the big version is certainly impressive with all the moving parts it sounds awesome but same amount of sand blocks come from the same piston, so I mean, an alternative is to build a glitch piston at both ends and push in from both ends, then you'll be able to get plus and nice sand out of it, but this looks impressive, but realistically it's not that fast. There's no faster than the other one. And the other one is f so much simpler. So I'll leave that up to you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go on to bed now. I, I do prefer the little one, I think. The little one's just so much more compact. Anyway, cheers, folks.